Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I'm going to go over an employee center professional feature called employee forums or the community for your employees. Now I have another video where I show the difference between employee center standard and employee center professional. I'll link to it up above. And so you, if you want to go check out that video, this will definitely be a continuation of what I showed there. In that video, I stopped short when I got to the community piece because I didn't want to spend too much time in that, especially if people weren't interested. I just wanted to call it out. But this is the community video where I'm going to go over the employee forums. Let's go to the home page so you can see what that looks like. When I get logged in there, I made sure I didn't click through some certain things so you can see what the experience might be like when you're new to that portal. And this is one of the things that you can configure is setting up a display name that's your employee um, community profile instead of your employee profile. So maybe I wanted to be Jay Diggity instead of Justin Meadows. I can go in here and change this to Jay Diggity. And now that's what people are gonna see me as on that portal. Again, that's configurable. The second thing that's unique here is the agreement to the community terms and conditions. So you can have some unique terms and conditions that you want people to agree to before they start using that. Like things like not posting anything hateful or, um, inappropriate for work stuff like that and how we're going to handle disputes and, and taking things down so you could put all that language from your legal team in there and before they can do anything they have to click this i agree button hit submit and then they'd be inside the portal uh, or the employee community portal here we got a confirmation on our time zone so let's just say i'm in brussels i'll probably regret that later when i'm on a real demo with a customer but that's okay i want to have fun with you all here on youtube um, notice I have a search function here at the top. I can come in and browse the forums. And for those of you that know ServiceNow and actually do a little bit of work, notice how similar all this is to something you might know as the ServiceNow community. So wink, wink, nod, nod. You might notice the different or the similarities between what they're offering with this community plugin for employee forums. Um, but let's take a look. We've got these different groups or forums that people can jump into. So if I wanted to go in and look at uh, the support forum. That's gonna open a chat forum where I could actually subscribe to it. Um, I could post actual content. There's a leaderboard just kind of next to my head there if there's actually some activity in that particular forum. Leave it to Justin to click on the one that had no stuff on it and when he's in the middle of recording a, a live demo for YouTube, but that's okay. Um, I do have a box where I could just start asking a question. And again, I can pick uh, maybe equity, diversity, or quality, diversity, and inclusion. And I have some question about benefits. And um, I don't know, I'm just going to type in some stuff there. And uh, I could hit post, and that'll post that to the actual list. And it would show up and down here with the rest of the posts in there. Now, notice I can have different kinds of posts. I can have questions, blog content, video content, documents, events. Um, there's that leaderboard fully populated where Gracie N, Aileen, and Kim, Rick, and Larry are all showing up on the leaderboard. I got some topics showing there. Um, but let's head back to that home page so we can continue to explore further down. Um, if I hadn't clicked on that, ask a question there in the middle. Again, just another widget. But here's the content list. You've got some drop downs to sort by forum, by content type, questions, blog, videos, documents, events. I could change the sort by recent, popular, and created. And um, looks like I have something here. What is this checkbox? I forget what that is. Let's just click on it. upgrade to VPN server 2.0. It kind of looks like a knowledge article. It's a blog post. Okay, so if someone's made a blog post. You still have the things like marking things as helpful or not. This one in particular has the comments disabled so no one can come in and leave content in it. Notice the widget up here in the upper right for the most viewed content. So these are things that are all configured, intended to kind of get people engaged and interacting with the forum and start using it. Let's take a look at one more thing. We've looked at, let's open a question or look at a question from regarding legal contacts. So we have somebody who's asked a question that's associated with a topic around contracts and you can come in and you can subscribe to it I can edit it because I'm an admin, probably to delete it, bookmark it, and I can post a reply to it. So if I happen to know that I'm just in here, I'm like, oh, a signed legal contract with an analyst. Um, how should you proceed? You should do X, Y, and Z or follow steps, you know, one, two, and three, like you see me typing in here. And I could reply to that and it would follow whatever workflows and approvals if you have those configured. Um, you don't have to. Oh, and I should point out, uh, let me click on cancel there. I should point out you do have the ability to include attachments on these replies. So it's not just a text uh, WYSIWYG editor like you're seeing here. And by the way, this editor is pretty powerful. You can put in images, you can put in links to videos. Um, you can go view the code and actually go change things. 
Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and cancel out of that question and head back. And I'm going to go over this menu now. So I've got ask a question I can jump to straight to that one from the menu item. I can go to the leaderboard. Um, again, this is all stuff we were seeing throughout the things I was just clicking on. But now I'm jumping to those things individually. I can jump to all the forums and go browse them all and maybe jump into the one I want to see. Um, looks like we got one for Honeypot Solutions. It sounds like something to do with security. It is. It's part of the security forums. Uh, what else can I do? I can go click on all topics and see all the different topics that are out there. So you know, I've got that pre-configured and I can subscribe to those, get notifications for when people post to them. Um, notifications and subscriptions is something I can go manage. So for that, I have notifications. I can use these checkboxes on whether I'm receiving email for those or not. Um, and it got pretty granular there. Document posted, event posted, blog marked is helpful. Um, same with subscriptions here. There's actually none to display. And that's for community. But notice it's blending in um, idea from strategic portfolio management and knowledge from whether that's HR, IT, um, the different other applications that might have knowledge bases associated with them. Um, you'd be able to come in here and see those different activities or notifications. Looks like we don't have subscriptions set up for any of these things. Uh, let's see for ideas. Yeah, no subscription set up, but definitely notifications in our demo environment. Oh, and I should point out the all notifications button there at the top if there's too much or I just want to turn everything on. How to earn points. This is configurable of how you associate points of people question or bookmarking questions uploading marking is helpful and not as helpful replying to stuff and you know so you can give people incentives and this is the gamification part of it and all of this of course you know service now lets you configure this so it could be to the points or the metrics that you want to use for your organization i can see my community profile remember in the beginning i changed my name from justin meadows to jay diggity so we can see that jay diggity there and i can go back and change that by editing my profile and maybe put that back to my name or just maybe justin and i wonder how much longer i have to keep talking before it opens the edit window there we go um, so maybe i'll change my display name here back to justin m or justin you know that's it so that I, and i can put my bio in there there's that time zone i set up for brussels let's go ahead and put that back to my eastern time zone which is for real i'll save that now i won't regret that on my next uh, video that I do there, but let's go back to my community profile using that link and uh, we'll get rid of that notification behind me. Um, okay, so now I can see when I come in here, any content that I've authored, featured, drafts, bookmarks, all the activity that I've had when I'm in here, people that are in my network that I'm following or that are following me, achievements that I've had. So you can see here, we've got these different let point levels. Um, again, this is the gamification and what that means. Again, if you use ServiceNow community, looks really similar to what's going on over, the, on over there in the community. Here's the different badges that you can lock and unlock. There's me tracking all the points. And then lastly, any events that I'm attending or signed up to attend. And we'll go to any bookmarks. I haven't made any bookmarks, but while I was going through the portal there, um, actually it just took me back to my profile and the bookmarks, so we were just there. And then if I wanted to maybe go over what the fine tooth comb, what the terms and conditions were, I can get back to those and see those there. But that is employee forums. Again, this is part of the employee center professional. Um, and you have to activate this and turn this on and configure all the menus. Um, so there's a little bit of stuff to get this set up, but this could be really helpful if you're looking to people to engage and actually use your service portal. So typically service portals in the past have all been about IT. I've got an incident. I need to request some software or device. This actually brings it to a whole nother level of it just being knowledge or something, but letting people crowdsource and contribute and feel like they're part of the community in your organization. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe or share it with somebody who you think might be interested in engaging their employees on a really comprehensive and uh, responsive portal like you saw in this demo. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.